Hey guys, welcome to this week's Super Saturday video. This week, um, we are, I'm pretty much just wanted to come in and talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on with me. I, um, and you know, I'm always on a diet, always. Well, I haven't been doing very good on my diets. I haven't lost, I actually, I did a fast. I did a seven day fast. I did awesome. I lost 12 pounds. And then I started eating again and I gained it all back. So that extended fast and it was super, super hard. After day three, I got really weak. I got really tired. All these things that they said wouldn't happen, they happened to me. So anyways, I probably should have stopped right then and then just went into like intermittent fasting. But I hadn't, I guess I missed that part where they said if that happens to stop because all I heard was that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> and it did. Anyway, my daughter booked my flight to California to visit her and to be there for my grandson's graduation party. And I am leaving in a little over two weeks. So I am at DEFCON 5 for losing weight. So I started this three days ago and I just wanted to tell you guys to help me be more accountable. I wanted to tell you guys where I'm at, what I'm doing, and hopefully it's gonna work. I really hope it's gonna work. So anyways, um, it's kind of a combination of a bunch of things. So basically it's wrong on all of them. It's, um, I, I don't eat after seven o'clock at night and I don't eat until three o'clock in the afternoon. I just, I drink one cup of coffee in the morning, black. It's awful, but I need the caffeine, so I do that. And then at three o'clock, I drink iced coffee. It's really big too. And I use, I buy the Stokes cold brew. I love that stuff. And I put sugar-free Italian sweet cream in it. It's delicious. I love it. I don't care if it's not whatever. It's what I do. And it. I just drank it a few minutes ago and now I feel so much better. And then next at about five o'clock, I will make my juice and I make pineapple juice. I use, I'm going to show you guys how I make the juice, but it's pineapple and apple and ginger and lime. That's what I put in it. And I drink that every day. Actually, I drink, I do all of this every day <laughs> for the last three days anyways. And I'm hoping I can stick to it. So far, so good. But I, yesterday was a rough day. Yesterday, I actually um, drank my coffee at like quarter till three because I was so hungry all day. But it was super stormy yesterday and I couldn't work because I had no internet. So I'm blaming that my hunger on that because I couldn't stay busy. Anyway, um, then I, I make my juice and I also cut up another pineapple and I cut, I cut it in half and I cut it in quarters and then I cut two of the quarters up into little pieces and me and my husband eat the pineapple, a quarter of a pineapple. They're little pineapples though because my son just bought me some huge ones from um, Sam's Club, but they're green. So I have to wait for those to ripen. So I had to go buy some more of the little ones. The little ones are ripe at Walmart, but the ones at Sam's Club, which are the really good ones, are super green. So I've got five super green ones and I just bought four more little ones because I was out of the ripe ones. Anyways, I'll show you how I make my juice. And then after I eat my pineapple at about six o'clock, I have a Diet Coke. And that's it. That's all I get. Sometime between six and seven, I'll have the Diet Coke. So sometimes it's after seven that I finish the Diet Coke, but I don't care. That's, that's my goal is like seven to three in the afternoon. That gives me a 20 hour. I think it's 20 hours. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. That's four hours. That means I'm 20 hour fasting. So, oh, I was going to show you something else too. Hold that thought, I'll be right back. I have also been taking this liquid BioCell Pure from Modere. 
for my joints, for my knee pain and my hip pain, and it really is helping. I'm so much better. I'm not cured yet, but, and it's super, super ridiculously expensive, I think. I mean, I don't know. I guess if I was going to a doctor, it's not that expensive. But since I just want to take it, I just want it to, the pineapple juice is supposed to be super good for inflammation and stuff though. There's all kinds of information on, on YouTube um, about how good pineapple juice is for you. There is, um, also it says you can lose 30 pounds in 15 days. I'm not really buying that, but I, I'm good with it. I'll take it, but we'll see, right? <laughs> so um, anyways, this, I will link this below because I did sign up to sell it, I guess. Actually, what happens is um, if you go through my link, you get $10 off and I get $10 towards my next purchase. So I don't know what that is. Is that multi-level or something like that? I don't know. I just know that it's really, really expensive. So I will link it. And if you don't use the link, that's okay too. Because I'm not sure how long I'll take it because it's like... It's, I think it's $79 for this bottle. That's two weeks. Yeah. 69 though, if you get the $10 off. I just wanted to try it because I saw somebody else saying that it was so good for joint pain and I wanted to try it. And because I have joint pain, that's another thing about my dieting is like, I can't really work out. I'm afraid to work out. I'm afraid that all the good I'm getting from the few things I'm doing will you know be gone if I start working out and mess it up again so I'm kind of trying to wait until it's gone before I start working out so anyways um I do think this is working though whether it's working $79 worth I'm not sure but at this point I'm willing to try so I have put my it on like auto ship to me and we'll see so far, so good, but like I said, it ain't gone yet. So, um, I already told you about the exercise and I'm going to show you my juice. I thought of something just a second ago that I was gonna tell you guys and I forgot. Oh, because I'm going to California. Um, so I will, I'm gonna try and stick to this at least until the 15th, which is the day before I go and We'll just see. I'll have to post it if I, you know, however much I lost, I will post it. Um, I also did a little haul today. I like these eyebrows. I thought I really liked these eyebrows until I went downstairs and looked in the natural light. Wow, these are dark. And these are the blonde ones. So anyways, I'm not sure I'm loving this. This is that Maybelline tattoo. I got it once before and I didn't like it, but I know I got a darker color. So I thought I was liking these, but now when I looked in the mirror, I'm like, wow. So I bought another one. This one is a super cheapy one, but it looked good. This is the Essence, because it was buy one, get one half on the Essence. And I got the Pretty Natural Foundation hydrating foundation. So we're going to be trying this one. I got the, it's all about brows. So I'm going to try this because these are crazy. And I got this new Urban Decay Hydramatic Stay Naked Tinted Glow Moisturizer. So we're going to be trying this. I just watched Casey Holmes try this and it looked good. I mean, they only had 51 was the, is the shade that I got and I would have preferred 50, but they didn't have it. So I went ahead and got this, but if we love how it looks other than the color, I may go back and get the 50 when they get more. And then one more thing, and this I didn't get at Ulta, this I got at Walmart. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. I haven't tried this one yet, so we got some, and I need to pre-film a bunch for while I'm in California. So now I think I have enough to do at least all the hot flash and wrinkles ones. I'm not sure if I have enough, but you guys probably want to see some, some of the stuff in California, right? So I figure I only need a couple till we get there. 
and then I will post some while I'm there of, of while I'm there. All right. So I think that's it for, um, talking about my diet and what I'm doing and what I hope works. I'm trying, to, I'm going to transcend to transition. I'm going to transition to carnivore, I believe after, I don't know, because I, I like this, but that's my plan. It's like, I'm not going to eat pineapple forever. I, I mean, only pineapple forever, but I think I will continue to eat it because I mean, if you watch, I don't know what the name of that was. And it's, my phone is what I'm recording on. So I can't look it up, but I watched a video and I will link it below. I will link it below. It was only four minutes and 40 seconds long or something, but it was a doctor that's on, um, YouTube all the time. And he was talking about the, all the benefits of the pineapple and what it does. I mean, it says, it says something about pineapples eating you, but it's really good. It's a really good. And it tells you all the things that pineapple does for you. So I'm sure I will continue to eat pineapple, but I want to start eating meat because Lisa, she's my mentor. <laughs> no, she's my inspiration. Lisa is my inspiration to, um, go carnivore. She looks amazing. Doesn't she? I mean, she wasn't fat before, but I want to look like her. So that's what I'm going to do. So I will be right back to show you how I make my juice. Okay, we're ready to make juice. So I start off with my, whatever this is called. It's like one of those ninja things. It's like a blender. And I put in about this much ice. It's a pretty fat cup. And I put that in the blender. And then I have chopped up three banana halves that are frozen. And I put those in the blender. And then I set this aside. And we're gonna start cutting up. This is how much ginger I use. So I'll put that over there and I'm gonna cut up my lime. And I like it peeled. So I just cut the ends off. I'm not too picky about the peeling or how much I lose in the peeling because I don't care. I'm not gonna take the time to actually peel it and then juice it. So that's good enough. And I always keep a bag right here for trash. So those are ready for it. And then I just cut the apples in half and I, oh, this is gonna make three of these. And so that's why I have four apples because this is not for just one person. This is for me, my husband, and my son. So I cut up four apples and then I cut the pineapple. Okay. So next we do the pineapple. Oh, I wanted to show you this. These are the ripe pineapples. See how small they are compared to the green ones we got at Sam's. That is the difference. Quite a difference. So now they, I can get these out of the picture here so that we can cut up the pineapple. This one I think is the ripest one. And I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut one for you guys and then I'm gonna cut a second one, but I'm not gonna show you. So I just cut off both ends. I'm sure I'm wasting some, but you know. That's how I do it. Just cut the ends off, put them in the Walmart bag, the trash bag. And then I just start doing the same thing I did to the line. These are the sweetest pineapples, or they have been so far. I'm hoping that those green ones that he got from Sam's will also end up being sweet. I'm sure that they um, 
are sweeter if they're left on the vine longer, but I don't think these were left on the vine longer. They've just been in Walmart longer. My husband told me he doesn't think I really even need to peel it if I'm going to juice it, but I'm doing it anyways, because that's what I do. All right, and then I put all this in the bag just to get it out of my way. And then I cut it in quarters. So cut it in half. And then a half again. And I'm going to juice this whole thing. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut another one up. And half of it. Actually this one's riper. So I'll probably cut another one up. Use half of it for eating. And actually the. I'm gonna use this one for eating. And then, because it looks sweeter, because it's so much riper, and then I'll use half of it in the, and, and plus, I cut the the core off of the ones we're gonna eat, but I still juice them. So I will cut that off, but I will add it to the juicing pile. And then I will cut, like I said, I'm gonna cut another one and then I'm gonna juice all this and then I'll be back. I got my three bowls of pineapple. Those are quarter pineapple each that I just chopped up for us. And I've got my three cups here. These ones are clean. They just, I used to drink a lot of carrot juice and it kind of stained them. So this is the only one that I guess didn't get carrot juice in it. Anyways, then, oh, so I juiced all those together and then I poured like half of this over the bananas and ice that I put in the blender. And I blended that till there was no more chunks. And then I put it back in here to mix the two together because only half of it will fit. And that's it for the juice. I just pour it in the cups now and everybody gets to enjoy their juice. <clears throat> this one seems to have made a lot. I think I must have put more ice and stuff in here. Cause I have a little bit too much. Nope, it's gonna fit. That's all that matters is it gets drank. So that's it. And my husband's upstairs, I believe. I thought he was outside, but normally I put his in the refrigerator too. And they can drink it whenever they want and eat their pineapple. But I'm going to eat and drink it right now because it is now 5.50. And I started this at 5 o'clock, but it takes a little bit longer when you're recording it. Because normally it only takes about 30 minutes, I think, for me to do all of this. Same thing, but without blabbing about it. So, anyways, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And you guys need to come back and cheer me on through this so that I don't quit. This one's not going on. Oh, this is the blue one. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay cool.